Hi, welcome. This is going to be a tutorial about package building. I was getting fed up with the message in our PKSYOA when we do this. We get a message about X cursor breeze. And let's stop this here because it's actually going to install everything. And it's this one. This one is always now at this point in time in our uh, yay. So it's actually a, a great example for a class, you know, to teach you something about these X cursor breeze. So it's at this point in time, let's uh, control Alt G this thing. You see it as out of date as this particular moment in time. What happens is that the maintainer, a person just like you and me, the submitter, the maintainer, flip-flop 97, goods C, and somebody else has flagged this uh, package out of the date, and that's what you in intend to do, what you need to do as, as user of Arch Linux, Arch Linux, anything Arch-based. You go to the AOR, flag it out of date, he gets an email. Now, we can fix it for Arch Linux, so I've ju just done that, but let me make a video what's going on. So you download the snapshots. It's all about package building this one. And you go to the downloads. Uh, let's delete a lot of stuff here. These guys can all go. X cursor breeze. Uh, extract here. So that one can go. There's a problem with a package build. Package build is a recipe, is a way to build a package. It has a name and a version, and in this case, it should be version three. How do I know that? The source is this one. This one are variables. I can't copy paste this in the URL. These guys are common. This one, one is, is this one. And the breeze is a name, and then the version is going to be a package version. That's this one, okay? So it's two times package version, and the package release is actually not used. And there's the checksum here as well. And basically you just are going to put it in user share icons, give it a name and put it in here, the cursors, and that's it. But this, it, it's, it's holiday, right? It's, it's July, uh, people are, are maybe sick as well. Um, so we need to figure out how can we help ourselves? And this is pretty easy. That's why I make a video about it because it's understandable. So, we have a URL. What you do is you go to this URL and see what is the source. The source is definitely coming from KDE, right? And we open it up, Control V. So it's kind of logic that's in here. And here we have all um, folders and every single time that these guys make a new version. So one month's time, 18 June, 25 June, a week, between these two guys. So every time they make a new folder, every time this person needs to maintain it. So I'm gonna ask to co-maintain it so either of us, of us can do it. And then this, this is going to be maintained faster. So, and the work is also divided by two, also good. So the 5.16.3 folder, that's the one we need to have and that's why it's flagged out of date. And we need this guy right the breeze 516.3 tar x set and that's why that's why the url that you're looking at here is made like that go to download kde org stable till here it's okay then uh, plasma okay package version 5.16.3 that's all we need to do change the directory this is going to be the correct directory this time and then the number, of course, it says Breeze 516.3, the same behind here, Breeze 5, uh, what was it, 16.3. Now there's just one more thing. Changing these things is a good uh, way to go. But the second line is going to do a check sum. And that's a something where I don't, at this point in time I can learn something else as well. So where is our downloads? It's here. When we make the package, everything's going to work fine. He knows the URL, so he finds the numbers. Three is correct, one is uh, and releases 
our this number is our number the maintainer number we can try again two three four till with it's okay but then he says validating source files with this sha one sums he wants to see if the download that we get is actually the correct download right so this thing here so nothing is in our source because of the fact that he asks hey um, it's not corresponding with the code i have where is that it's not corresponding with that code so fix that now we can do this manually which is okay as well we type in si1 sums i suppose but i want to explain something else without an s yeah without an s and then you get a number for this breeze thing but you can also do it with another package and i don't think i've made any video about that update package sums okay so if you do this that's the number remember that one in the end okay that one that's enough and then you go up here you run this check out these guys 4606 we run this thing we look at it again oh look that one you see so this little application uh, you can maybe make an man from it probably not maybe better to do an uh, oh probably i typed something wrong here up the sums all right so nothing in there i thought as much and then maybe a help and that's basically it that more there's no more information than that so it's going to update the system you need to have you need to be near a package build in the current working directory that's what we've done and there you go this is now up to date and now now you can retry to build it again that's what i've done we get this x cursor breeze put it online on our article Linux, and now you can just install it with this command actually but it will just come in with your updates as usual and we don't see it anymore this message that it's out of date there you go have fun learning more about package builds